In the coming months, we look forward to commencing the production of commercial samples for our partners, says LIS Energy CEO Lee Finier. This is thrilling news. The company has announced that the production of commercial samples for the groundbreaking 20-layer battery cell based on semi-solid lithium sulfur technology is about to commence at the end of the year. This remarkable development comes hot on the heels of the tremendous success of their Gen 3 lithium sulfur battery cell, which has achieved a staggering 45% improvement in volumetric energy density, reaching an astounding 540 watt-hours and a higher gravimetric energy density of over 400 watt-hours per kilogram. So, how does the Gen 3 lithium sulfur battery cell achieve such high performance? Why can it become an absolute game changer for industries? Join us as we cover the latest news about this remarkable battery in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel, and before we begin, we ask that you show your support by subscribing if you haven't already, and ringing that bell so you don't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started on today's content. LIS manufactures 20-layer battery cells utilizing third-generation or Gen 3 semi-solid state technology by embedding unique nanomaterials, boron nitride nanotubes or BNNTs, and a new nanocomposite that's invented called Li Nano Mesh into the cells to enhance their strength, life cycle, and performance. So, how much does the 20-layer battery cell cost? As the electric vehicle market continues to grow, there's a rising demand for batteries that aren't just efficient, but also affordable. The shift towards lithium sulfur technology could bring about a significant impact on battery prices, with experts estimating the cost to drop as low as $17 per kilogram. This suggests that the final price is estimated to be as low as $60 a kilowatt hour versus $90 per kilowatt hour. Meanwhile, right now, the average price of a lithium ion battery is about $120 per kilowatt hour. This substantial price reduction would make electric vehicles more accessible to consumers, potentially leading to widespread adoption in the market. According to Selena Mikolciak, the chief battery technology officer of the startup Lighten, a commercial lithium sulfur battery could revolutionize electrification, making it abundant and easy to electrify everything. This exciting prospect could transform the way we power our devices and vehicles, providing a cost-effective and energy-efficient solution for widespread electrification. Right now, lithium-ion batteries face challenges due to the constrained supply of nickel. Additionally, cobalt, another vital component in lithium-ion batteries, is predominantly sourced from mines in the Congo, where human rights issues plague the industry. The abundance and low cost of sulfur make it a promising alternative for lithium-sulfur batteries. These batteries could potentially reduce our dependence on problematic regions, offering a more sustainable and ethically sound energy storage solution compared to current lithium-ion battery packs. The shift towards lithium sulfur technology presents a promising future for the electric vehicle industry, with the potential to drive down costs and make eco-friendly transportation more accessible to all. As this technology continues to evolve, we can look forward to a greener and more affordable future for electric vehicles, providing a cleaner and more sustainable way to move around while contributing to a healthier planet. How does the 20-layer battery cell forecast development for the future? In the rapidly advancing world of technology, batteries play a crucial role in powering our devices and our vehicles. Thankfully, the 20-layer battery cell represents a groundbreaking development in battery technology that addresses these concerns. This innovative battery boasts a remarkable 1,000 charge and discharge cycles compared to today's lithium-ion batteries. The Argonne scientists achieved this success by employing a cutting-edge, billion-dollar X-ray diffraction machine in their lab that allows them to observe the remarkable properties of the lithium sulfur cell. With a weight energy density of 400 watt-hours per kilogram and a volumetric energy density of 540 watt-hours, this battery is not just lighter, but also offers significant cost and safety advantages compared to the traditional options out there. One of the most significant advantages of the 20-layer battery cell is its low flammability risk, a stark contrast to the well-known fire hazards associated with lithium-ion batteries. The secret lies in the battery's electrolyte material, the solution that facilitates the charge and discharge cycle. This innovative material significantly reduces the risk of fire, providing American seniors with a peace of mind they need while using their electronic devices and electric vehicles. Safety is a top priority, and this battery technology delivers on that front. The benefits of the 20-layer battery cell extend far beyond safety. 
With its exceptional high density, this battery packs more power while weighing less. This means lighter devices and electric vehicles, making them easier to handle and operate. Moreover, the cost-effectiveness of this battery technology is noteworthy, alleviating financial burdens and encouraging widespread adoption among seniors. The researchers at Argonne have truly harnessed cutting-edge technology to perfect this lithium sulfur battery. By utilizing state-of-the-art X-ray diffraction machines in their experiments, they have ensured the highest standards of quality and precision. The result is a battery that not only competes with today's lithium-ion batteries in terms of performance, but also exceeds expectations in terms of safety and cost efficiency. Embracing this advanced battery technology will undoubtedly enhance the lives of American seniors, enabling them to stay connected and mobile with confidence. The prolonged cycle life of 1,000 charge and discharge cycles ensures that most devices and cars powered by this battery will stand the test of time. Moreover, with its reduced flammability risk, customers can rest assured that their safety is well taken care of. As for the new battery, it can be considered a game changer in the world of energy storage. Its remarkable energy density, combined with enhanced safety features and cost effectiveness, make it the ideal solution for various applications. For us personally, this battery serves as a reliable and efficient power source for electronic devices, ensuring longer usage times and lightweight portability. It would also make electric vehicles more practical and accessible, providing a greener and more sustainable transportation option. Overall, this innovative battery technology promises to have a positive impact on our daily lives, improving the way we use and rely on energy in a more environmentally friendly manner. What do you consider this new battery to be? What use will this battery serve for you? How far away are the 20 layer cells from commercialization? In the coming months, we look forward to commencing the production of commercial samples for our partners, says Lee Finier. The LIS Energy Development Team is actively working to develop cell cycle testing and characterization results to produce an industry standard data sheet on the new 20-layer cells. It's expected that the 20-layer battery cell, based on semi-solid lithium sulfur technology, is well underway and is set to be officially commercialized by the end of the year. Unfortunately, it is quite disheartening that this new type of battery won't be used in the production of electric vehicles immediately. Instead, it's been applied in aviation applications and unmanned spacecraft. Perhaps the dream of incorporating it into trams will take a little bit longer. While researchers and developers have made significant progress in exploring new generations of batteries, the pace of development in the industry appears slower compared to academia. In academia, the progress in the research of 20-layer cells has been as fast as a bullet train, resulting in fruitful results over the past decades. Various advanced materials have been synthesized, and most of them can be produced on a large scale. Despite the contrast in the speed of development, we can remain hopeful that the industry will catch up to realize the full potential of LIS batteries for a wide range of applications, including our electric cars. As the technology continues to advance, we can look forward to a more sustainable and efficient future thanks to the continuous efforts of researchers and innovators in the field of battery technology. How's the 20-layer battery cell better than the most widely used batteries these days? In the realm of battery technology, various enhancements have been made in pursuit of higher energy densities and improved efficiency. Comparing different generations of batteries, we find interesting variations in energy density metrics. Example, the third generation lithium ion phosphate or LFP cell boasts an energy density of 290 watt hours and 160 watt hours per kilogram, which is about 1.37 times lower in weight energy density than the 20-layer battery cells. Surprisingly, the volumetric energy density of LFP cells remains pretty comparable to that of the 20-layer cells. On the other hand, Contemporary Amperex Technology Company Limited, or CATL, has developed third-generation nickel-cobalt cells, which exhibit an energy density of 450 watt-hours. These cells outperform the 20-layer battery cells in terms of weight energy density, and interestingly, they lag behind significantly in volumetric energy density, being approximately 2.16 times lower. The NCM cells manage to achieve an energy density of 250 watt-hours per kilogram. Meanwhile, Tesla's 4680 cells, featured in the Model Y all-wheel drive and Cybertruck model, show an estimated energy density of around 272 watt-hours per kilogram. While this is an impressive achievement, it's worth noting that it falls short 
by 1.98 times when compared to the volumetric energy density of the 20-layer battery cells. The race for a higher energy density in batteries has led to distinct advancements across various generations of cell technologies. Each generation offers its own trade-offs between weight energy density and volumetric energy density. As technology continues to evolve, these insights will drive us closer to the ideal balance of higher energy densities, affordability, and sustainability in the realm of battery innovation. And the most important part of today's episode is how does the 20-layer battery cell have the potential to revolutionize electric vehicle production? LIS technology holds immense promise for revolutionizing electric vehicle batteries. The 20-layer battery cell, developed by LIS Energy, offers several key advantages that makes it a game-changer for the EV industry. First, it significantly extends the driving range of EVs. With a remarkable 45% improvement in volumetric energy density and a gravimetric energy density exceeding 400 watt-hours per kilogram, the 20-layer battery cell enables electric vehicles to travel much farther on a single charge. This improvement in energy density is a huge breakthrough, providing drivers with increased confidence in the practicality and convenience of electric vehicles. Safety is another critical aspect addressed by LIS technology. The use of having low flammability electrolyte in the 20-layer battery cell enhances the safety of EVs, effectively reducing the risk of fire incidents. This safety feature reassures both consumers and regulatory authorities, further encouraging the widespread adoption of electric vehicles. Moreover, the 20-layer battery cell contributes to lighter and more compact EV designs. Doubling the gravimetric energy density while maintaining a comparable volumetric energy density enables a more compact battery pack. This not only frees up valuable space within the vehicle, offering greater design flexibility, but it also reduces the overall weight of the battery pack. As a result, EVs become more efficient and agile, enhancing driving performance, while potentially leading to cost savings by using fewer materials without compromising on performance. The advantages offered by LIS technology are a testament to its potential to transform the EV industry. The extended driving range, improved safety, and lighter, more compact designs promise a brighter and cleaner future for electric vehicles. Customers, with their keen interest in technological advancements and sustainable solutions, can look forward to witnessing the positive impact of LIS technology on the EV landscape. As we move towards a greener and more environmentally conscious era, LIS technology paves the way for a cleaner and more sustainable transportation future for generations to come. Where's the 20-layer battery cell manufactured? LIS Energy has collaborated with Deakin University in Victoria and the PPK Group, among others, to create innovative battery cells that eliminate the use of heavy metals like nickel and cobalt that's found in traditional lithium-ion batteries. These new cells are manufactured at LIS Energy's facility in Geelong, Victoria, which potentially houses the largest dry room in all of Australia. The Phase 3 production line is capable of producing 2 megawatt hours of batteries. Additionally, the Argonne National Laboratory, with scientist Guilang Zhu, among the authors of a recent paper, plans to partner with the private sector to commercialize this new battery technology and develop a prototype battery. It's not just the U.S. that's investing in lithium sulfur research. The EU, funded by the LISA project focusing on lithium sulfur battery cell design, there's the Korean company LG through its energy arm of LG Energy Solutions, and they aim to commercialize a lithium sulfur battery by 2025. There's also a German startup company called Theon that they're making their own strides to bring a lithium sulfur battery to market soon. An even more interesting thing is that the recently passed Infrastructure and Reinvestment Act in the U.S. has allocated funds that could significantly boost battery development efforts. The IRA subsidies provide much-needed support to battery manufacturers, making the capital-intensive process more manageable and giving everyone a better chance of success, according to experts. Automakers are also actively investing in battery technology and supply chains. Companies like GM and Ford are partnering with promising battery startups and mineral suppliers. Established companies like Tesla and BYD have long been heavily invested in their own battery technology. While lithium sulfur batteries show great promise, they still have a long way to go before becoming mainstream. 
The current lithium-ion batteries that power today's EV revolution have benefited from three decades of progress. It could take many years, if not decades, before more lithium-ion sulfur battery packs are widely used in vehicles like those from Tesla or General Motors. The first lithium sulfur batteries are likely to be used in vehicles and devices that require extremely lightweight capabilities. Due to their higher energy density, lithium sulfur batteries can power vehicles with significantly less weight, making them ideal for applications like drones and other small flying vehicles. The development of lithium sulfur battery technology is progressing along steadily, thanks to collaborations between research institutions and private companies. The new IRA funding and investments from automakers are expected to accelerate battery development even further. While mainstream use in cars may still be some years away, the advantages of lightweight lithium sulfur batteries make them promising candidates for specialized applications like drones and other lightweight vehicles. As the technology continues to evolve, we can look forward to witnessing these exciting advancements in the world of electric mobility and energy storage. What is the future of the 20-layer battery cell? As researchers continue to explore the possibilities of LIS technology, several manufacturers have already made significant strides in delivering LIS batteries for specific applications. These batteries find extensive use in industries where weight and long-lasting performance on a single charge are crucial, like drones and satellites. For instance, LG Energy installed an LIS battery in a solar-powered unmanned aerial vehicle developed by the Korea Airspace Research Institute successfully completing a 13-hour test flight in the stratosphere under extreme conditions of minus 70 degrees Celsius and just 4% of ground-level pressure. In the EV space, a German battery startup named Theon is actively working to bring LIS batteries to the market. Theon's efforts are focusing on offering LIS technology to automotive customers as early as next year, signaling a potential breakthrough for electric vehicles. The advantages of LIS batteries, including higher power density, could potentially alleviate range anxiety, a concern that some surveys indicate hampers the widespread adoption of electric vehicles. The advancement in LIS technologies offer hope for a cleaner and more energy-efficient world around us. As we embrace the potential of sulfur to revolutionize our energy landscape, LIS technology may very well lead the way in transforming the future of transportation and space exploration alike. So that's it for today's episode. What do you think about changing your electric car's lithium sulfur battery? Are producers prepared to produce them in large quantities? Don't forget to share your ideas in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, Please leave us a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to ring that bell so you can stay up to date on the new Tesla Car World content. Once again, we thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.